Hey, hello everybody. Richard Blackstone here with today's Create One Love Note. And uh, a little bit of fall weather out there, so I got the little uh, warm, insulated shirt on. Boy, that feels good. I, you know, I kind of like, oh, you know, I love fall because the, the colors. Wow. It's like uh, mind-boggling to me every time I like, go for a walk or go for a jog or uh, uh, even just walking outside because I live in paradise. You know, I live a, oh man, I just walk out my door and nature is just like, ah, and now, you know, the trees turning, the leaves on the ground, the colors, I just, ah, man, I love it. Uh, I, anyway, <laughs> so uh, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you a love note. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you, a love note for you. And then we're going to talk about it and see how it applies to your daily life. So, so uh, you can like do some quantum leaping on your journey. How about that? Oh, isn't that a great idea? <laughs> okay, let's read the love note, see what it says, and then we'll talk about it. See how it really does. You know how you can put a practical use in your life. Okay, love note says, "What is spirit?" Well, it's a word. The word spirit comes from the Latin word spirar which means breath. Seems pretty appropriate, doesn't it? The spirit of life is demonstrated in our breathing. When we aren't breathing, we are no longer animated by spirit. So the body is nothing without the breath of life known as spirit. Guess what? We are all breathing, so we are, by definition, all animated with a life force called spirit. And without this spirit, we wouldn't be alive in these bodies. We would, however, be alive as spirits. Because the spirit is not the body. The spirit animates the body. What we call the new spirituality is a spirituality of illuminating our daily lives with what we call the divine and recognizing that in ourselves. Do you recognize the divine life force called spirit in you? Do you have a close, wonderful relationship with this spirit? Do you think of yourself as a spiritual being or a human being? Spirit is a word, but it is also a divine idea that permeates all of existence. Oh, ah! Oh. Sometimes I blow myself away with how good I write these love notes. <laughs> you know, uh, like I said, uh, these love notes are from our archives. Uh, this one's about a year old, and and I can actually remember when this idea came to me um, because I was um, reading a book or something. And it talked about uh, this this concept, you know, we're a mind, body, spirit being. I mean, I've talked about that a lot. And uh, and this spirit part of us, you know, uh, what came to the fore in my in my thinking, in my quest to improve my life, what came to me, and what always comes to me comes from spirit. Uh, but what came to me was, you know, even though you're a mind, body, spirit being, uh, what animates this body is spirit because when we have this experience called our physical death uh, and the spirit leaves this body well the body just drops I mean there's nothing there to animate it there's nothing there to make it move around to to uh, make it think to uh, to do whatever body does it's the spirit part of you that animates this body and makes you guess what alive <laughs> you wouldn't be alive as a humanoid without the spirit animating this body. And so this beautiful relationship, this mind-body-spirit relationship, it, it goes so deep and it also uh, tells us so dramatically that the best thing we could do if we really want to enjoy this game of life on planet Earth at the highest of levels, the absolute best thing we could do is to build a beautiful, loving relationship with our spirit. Because it's the spirit that's running the show. You know, I mean, yeah, yeah, you can have the ego run the show, but in, when it comes down to the final uh, gun, it's the spirit that, that's the deal. Yeah, you know, here's the deal. We live 
in a universe of duality and relativity. And why is that? Well, it's so that we can experience things by knowing what it's not. And, you know, our spirit is, this, is part of this duality, too. Because um, on the one side is the spirit. The spirit side is, is based in love. And then the opposite of the spirit is our ego. And what some people might even call the devil. <laughs> so if you really want to know who the devil is, it's just this ego inside of you. It, it, you know, uh, I love those old laughing ones where they had the, you know, the, the uh, devil on one shoulder and the angel on the other. But it, in reality, it's all spirit. It's all spirit. You know, the, the spirit is the truth of you. The, the devil part, the ego part, that's the illusion of a dualistic universe based in relativity. Love is truth, love is real. Fear is an illusion. But that's a whole other subject matter. <laughs> I want to stay on task here. Um, because this spirit thing is so critical if you want to really change your life. If you want to uh, create your life the way you really want it to be, then you really need a deep understanding of your relationship with spirit. And the deeper you go, the more you understand your true authentic self, the better you are uh, at doing what you want. And, and you know why? Because you become empowered by your spirit. Yeah, you know, um, when you let your ego run your life, you're basically disempowered. Your ego runs the show and you don't have a say in the matter. All you do is answer the ego every time. You, and, and when it comes out in the morning, it goes, okay, let's do this, let's do that, let's, you know, uh, okay, okay, I'll do that, I'll do that. And the ego is never satisfied, and it never will be, because that's the nature of uh, the ego. Now, the spirit lives completely in love, and it only has one request. Love yourself unconditionally. Love yourself unconditionally. And then understand that you are one with all of life, and through that oneness, when you love yourself unconditionally, you are giving that love to everything else. Not just humans, everything else. You're giving your love to the interconnectedness of life. And when that connection, when you have a beautiful relationship with your spirit, your life just smooths out. You know, when I was sleepwalking, sleepwalking through life, my, all my relationships were so frustrating. Because, <laughs> you know, my ego is going, oh, yeah, she's okay, but, you know, she does this and that. And I go, oh, yeah? Oh, like, oh, no, you don't want that. And then they do something nice, and then the ego goes, oh, she's wonderful, she's wonderful. It's like, oh, man, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> spirit always loves. It's all love. And when you start building that relationship with Spirit, all your, your, your relationship is going to smooth out. When you start building that relationship with Spirit, guess what? you got to start going back to optimum physical health. You were born in optimum physical health, and you can return to it at any time. And I don't care if you're, uh, uh, you know, I, I know people that had 90% closed arteries. Doctors told them if they didn't have surgery, they would die. Well, they, they didn't die. They went to Spirit. They changed their diet. They did the things that Spirit, um, uh, that when you're aligned with Spirit, that's what you do. And now they're alive and well running marathons. So, you can change every aspect of your life, including uh, if you feel like you're living in lack, you don't have enough money. If you want more abundance in your life, align yourself with Spirit. Spirit will show you the path to take you to the abundance that you desire. It's that simple. All of life is simple, but you have to understand it. And that's what we do here at Create One Love, is give you the tools and the programs to, to help you really understand yourself at a deeper level. And through that understanding, you can change your life in dramatic ways. And you can begin to create your life the way you really want it to be. Now, wouldn't that be a fun way to live your life? To actually create it exactly the way you want it? <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> well, I can give you the tool right now to get you going on the game. And it is a powerful, powerful tool. It's an e-book. All you have to do is go to ConsciousLifestyleSecrets.com. Go there and get the book. And guess what it's called? called Who You Really Are and Why You Are Here. Now, wouldn't you like to know that at a little deeper level? <laughs> okay, go get the book. Okay, wow, that was, oh man, when I, uh, do you feel spirit?
spirit animated me, baby. <laughs> spirit loves, you know. Hey, hey, spirit loves. What else can I say? Okay, that's it for today. Um, see you tomorrow on the next one. And so, until I see you, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go out and have a beautiful day. And think about your spirit. You know, think about this beautiful uh, part of you. And it it's never leaves you. You are never separate from your spirit. Just think about that as much as you can until I see you tomorrow, okay? <laughs> and of course, as always, and this is what spirit's going to tell you, you got it. <laughs> Live in love. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow.